Well, good afternoon, everybody. Welcome to this install and review video of the Joy Tutus Digital Wireless Backup Camera Kit. Got a 7 inch HD monitor, night vision. Okay, there's the HD monitor. Got the sun shield, the glare, anti glare, whatever you call that. I'm gonna clip on the anti-glare shield there. This is actually very nice. I like how big the screen is. You got your big old bracket. It's metal. Feels pretty beefy. Feels very sturdy. bracket that came with my camera kit from eBay was very uh, generic. I've seen it in a lot of other kits and it doesn't really fit the monitor right and this is a much better setup. I really like this. Big view, easy to see. Uh, here's the camera. Also a very nice feeling unit, heavy. And, ah, it comes also with that generic base that I'm not too fond of. It comes, the, I see this thing in every kit. So you got two options here. You got this, which takes up less of a footprint. You got some more brackets for the camera. And the 3M sticky pad. Very nice one for the monitor bracket which I like. I really like this big old thing. Looks sturdy. And a little package of goodies. Car adapter for the monitor. That push on button. So that can go to the monitor. And that can go to your right here, So easy install the monitor. The camera's gonna take a little bit more work with getting the power to it. You just need a long piece of wire. I'll put a link below for some I think 18 gauge. It's what I've been using for all my other CCTV camera stuff, so I'll uh, put some appropriate sized wire below. You can run it the length of your RV and you attach in at the uh, lighter socket. So whenever your ignition is on, the camera is on. Got the two antennas, one for the camera, one for the monitor. Got the little knobs to mount your bracket. Then we got two power wires to attach strictly to to splice in for power if you want one for the monitor instead of the lighter socket and then one for the camera of course to get power to those. So it looks pretty good. Let's give it a quick test and get her installed. One for the monitor, one for the camera. Hook it up for a test here. Got our power supply. Antennas on. That is so much nicer than having to put in a cord. I love that. That is really nice. Convenient. Oh wow, right off the bat. Didn't even have to do anything, it already it's already connected. Cool, I like it. Just sitting up here trying to see where I want to put this. I do think I could put this up here since the screen is so big. I could see that from a pretty good distance away. I'm just using one screw for, at first and here in the center so I can put it about where I want it and then I can twist it, get it exactly where I want it and put in a few more screws. Once the holes are made for the screws, I know where it's going, I add the 3M sticky strip. Right, that worked 
looks pretty good. My new rear view mirror, I like it. To make sure this sticks the best, I'm just going to wipe this down with some isopropyl alcohol and water, 50-50, or you just use rubbing alcohol to undiluted to get uh, just any skin oils or contaminants off the back of this before putting the sticker on. Nice and sturdy. Even gave myself enough room so I get the curtain climb blinds closed, uh, so I can get the blinds closed behind it. Just needed to tuck that camera up in or the antenna in there, out of the way so the curtain can get to bed. All right, so a sharpie and the camera pick a spot I like. Got a couple other cameras to avoid here, so I'm gonna go up. Uh, And this I'll just put on top so I could get a straight view back for emergency vehicles. I'll put the new nice camera in this spot looking down so I can see when I'm backing up into things. Alright, got a couple holes pre-drilled. Old camera holes are sealed up with some silicone and before I put in the new screws I will get some silicone in there to make sure uh, that's all sealed up and kind of help hold things in place. Get power over here for the camera. Got some uh, 18 gauge, 20 gauge. And I can either run that along the roof like I did here, but since it's already kind of painted over and it's gonna be hard to add a wire into that. Should have thought about that. Should have done that in the first place. But uh, now the way to run it would be along this bar, down the ladder, underneath the RV. I think I am going to, however, just go through the roof and make it easy. And uh, go along the ceiling on the inside of the RV where I already have wa wires running. So I drilled just a tiny hole in the roof and marked it with a neon zip tie so I can find it in here and slip this wire through. Okay, here we go. 
and then I'm going to use some paintable caulking to seal this up. That way I don't have problems with sealing the roof later on. I right, just got some quad, some good stuff here. I went through all that trouble and I can't even get to put it on like that but that's not tangled down where I want it to be so that sucks I can't really get the camera on I will uh yeah and these aren't even really uh these aren't the right size for the camera yeah no good okay so it looks like the camera is made to point or at least the bracket is made to point the camera straight down or almost straight down and it can angle out a little bit of course um, but in my application it's almost mounted um, horizontally on the side of my RV and uh, it's just kind of running into a problem with clearance on the antenna and you see it just it's looks like it's made to mount either up or down on on the top of something or on the bottom of something but once I angle that camera out the camera hits the brackets so I will have to come up with something so another downside to this kit with the bracket not really letting the camera go straight with it I think in some circumstances that might be necessary uh, but not too often if I did not have that security camera above the window I should have mentioned that earlier um, this would probably work perfect it's just bracket just does not want to go straight like that with the, can with the antenna on the back. Um, so another downside is these oddball things in here like this doesn't really you know that doesn't really work. It's got the little pins for the hood to clip on there and that would be I, that would just seem like a bit of a unless it mounted like that would that give me enough room? I'm not adding any more holes to the RV, so these don't really fit. I mean, they don't fit at all. They don't. I don't know where to put that. Um, and there's these things. I don't know what those are. Uh, those almost line up on the holes, but not the top one. The bottom one's lined up. The top one is. No, that's way off. So what? I have no clue what that even is. Yeah, not a clue. Um, And the instructions say nothing about it so that's really the only downside to this kit so far it'll be an easy thing to extend the brackets or I even I'll put a link right now or I'll put a picture up on the screen of a little extension cable I found anyway it gets extend this a few inches and maybe I don't know zip tie the camera or the antenna to the camera cable okay got the camera to work it's angled up more where I want it and I just had to raise the bracket up past this edge so the antenna kind of come back on there instead of hitting the wall. Let's do what I can. So that gave it enough room to bring it up and not just be staring straight out of my spare tire hatch. taped up because I don't think it's, uh, I'm not sure if it's waterproof or not. It doesn't really look like it. So just a couple wraps of the electrical tape and then smush the end. Just keep the, uh, hey. keep the uh, rainwater out of there. Okay, I got the wire run along my ceiling for the back cameras. You can do it on the roof, but I just already have this thing going on, so wire comes down alongside the monitor power wire. And I have that go under the dash to a switched power source. Switched by the keys. So whatever the key's on, everything's on.
All right, got everything wired up to switch power, so it just comes on with the key. Very cool. Boy, that's just not a very good angle. It's looking straight down at my spare tire. I would like that to turn up a little bit. Um, also, the picture seems backwards. So that's something I don't really like. Ladder should be over there. Um, so I'll see if there's a way to fix that in the settings. Oh wait, I think there's an image flip right there. There we go, okay. Easy fix on the image flip. So pretty cool camera, just don't like the bracket it comes with because it won't let me turn it up anymore. All right, uh, just doing a quick nighttime test and that looks pretty bright. Shining uh, really bad off that spare tire cover. Um, but that is, I can still see the road really well as you see the line here in the rest area. So yeah, if this bracket was just a half inch longer, I'd be able to turn this back and get the angle I needed. So at a later time, I might cut this. Actually, a little easy, easy enough fix. I'll just go ahead and do that. Um, take this off, I'll cut it in half and extend this just a half inch. It really didn't take too much to get that antenna back there. So I take the little screen protector out there. Also, to give a little credit to the bracket, I think most people are gonna put the camera right here where my security camera is. So if you guys get this, put it right there, you probably have no problems. But right there, I'll just I'll just give that a little modification later down the road. Alright, so there it is, backup camera. If you're RV, if you guys need one, they're offering 25% off. I'll put a link down below. And a code for the 25% off coupon. So if you need a camera, grab one. It's an affiliate link, so it helps out the channel. Thank you very much for watching. Have a good day. Bye.